I walk between realms. Tartarus calls for you. <laughs> Open the gates! All magic flows to me. Uh, Hecate is a Greek goddess of sorcery, magic, uh, witchcraft, and we're bringing her to Smite too because we think she's a goddess that people have been asking for for a while, and she's pretty iconic. For Hecate, we wanted to make sure that we didn't go hard with her as a witch herself. She's the goddess of witchcraft. As far as when it relates to animation, one of the key things that we're trying to drive with her is just her etherealness, her presentation, floaty, uh, soft, out in the ether, um, that type of feel. Uh, we pitched a lot of crazy UE5 tech stuff that we had to check with the engineering team. We found a good combination of what we thought was possible. And then the biggest difference was really the, the prototyping phase. So usually what we would do is just send most of that to programming. Instead, you know, the designer started with it. The designer, like, her abilities one, three, four were virtually entirely set up by me with no programming assistance. That was very different than what we do in Smite 1 and that those abilities all had significant changes over time because of the ability to prototype, test, and adjust all in the design team. Hecate is the first god and Smite Two that we are building completely inside the uh, UE5 control rig. Basically, it takes the ability for us as animators to work directly in the editor instead of working in software. All the character artists have been using Unreal 3 for like almost 15 years uh, under their belt. So basically learning kind of the new tools and what they, where they can like expand things and leverage kind of do we do more texture maps now to give better resolution and stuff like that? So higher polygon counts, uh, things of that nature. The biggest thing has been probably cloth simulation and learning the ins and outs. She has simulated cloth physics on her movement. In Smite 1, we had to hand key animate all cloth to make it look as much like it was flowing in the wind and stuff like that. But Hecate actually has a big cloth veil and that actually moves and responds to the physics and you know the world around her. There's some clear out of the box gains uh, we get to see uh, cloth simulation live in the fly. We can update something in the editor and see it while we're playing in editor, see it update immediately. The workflow paths are much quicker and smoother. The part that's kind of had us leveling to a middle ground here is we are still learning it. So we get some awesome upgrades. We're learning those on the fly. It's balancing together. So it's been a challenge, but it's been an awesome challenge. She has two, like I'd say, are really unique gameplay features on the kit. One is that she kind of has a twist on the interact feature. Hecate has two special case interacts just for her, that in certain situations she can now interact. So her passive is actually kind of an active in this way. The other one is her ability two. She puts down a magic orb. Every single ability that's activated from an enemy god or ally god powers it up. And then she refires it to do damage based on how much fighting was going on in the area. Another one of Hecate's abilities, we're rendering a flow map over everything, which is this texture that takes these black and white information and is distorting everything, making it look really cool and otherworldly. I, I think the world material visuals, that is just something we wouldn't have done the same way or couldn't have done the same way in UE3. In UE5, it just looks different and you can actually tell, like I can look at another character model and see they look normal, but then I can look at the world and the ground and the environment and see that is all distorted. We have a level of control that we couldn't have done in UE3 visually. Doing the first new god in Smite 2 Hecate uh, has been a fun and interesting challenge and I hope that, that the work we've put in resonates well. We're really excited to get it in the hands of the players um, and we had a lot of fun just pushing the limits of what we can do for the characters and abilities and everything of Hecate. So we hope you enjoy her. Um, like I said, I know the team here really had a great time so we hope you do as well. Obviously, everyone on the dev team were very excited to, to let more players into Smite 2. The uh, closed testing with ambassadors and streamers and pros has been really fun, and with employees has been really fun. Um, we hear a lot of positive feedback every test, and then also a long, long, long to-do list. We're trying to remake over 10 years worth of game here, so the to-do list is long, but we're looking for improvements and quality everywhere we can, and I think we're, we're finding it in almost every place. We're finding something good to change, improve as we go, which all combined together just feels really good. <laughs>